Certainly flying some kites this morning. Uh, let's get to your calls at LBC 97.3. Tom, good morning. Hello there, Duncan. Hi. How are you doing, my man? Long time no speak. Ah, well, I'm very well, thank you, mate. What's your thought on this? Family good, yeah. <laughs> Ticking over well, mate. Yourself? Yeah, getting by, my man, getting by. Yes, well, first of all, what I'd like to discuss is the fact that the Tories can build a policy based on 50,000 people, bringing them a maximum of maybe of 100 million, and that is about a one-thousandth of the budget. I'm talking about this welfare reform where this £500 package it only affects mainly high-density uh, families in London uh, who, you know, specialise in having five, six, seven, eight, nine children who are living in properties that are thousands of pounds and may have to relocate. Why is this giving so much publicity? I'll tell you why. It's because we are facing austerity measures and a tightness, a restriction to the financial climate that the world has never seen in the last 70 years, Duncan. First of all, up to six years ago, we were unleashed with a tsunami of credit and debt. We were lied to by pseudo-economics, uh, economists and government ministers, saying that we have a wonderful economy. You know, forget that Thatcher decimated the manufacturing base even more than what Hitler did with his Luftwaffe. Forget all that. We've got a wonderful economy here. And how are we doing it? This is what the economy said. We're doing it with rising land prices and consumer credit. So, all of a sudden, the banks turn off the taps. And yet, all this folly and all this waste and profligate spending that went on, you know, Tony Blair with his PFI or whatever it was called, mm. you know, the debt to the nation that we've now accrued with funding for schools and hot uh, hospitals that we no longer own. Yeah. Yet, we're, we're now told, oh, we, we have to cut back. But it's the little person that has to cut back. And it's not the multinational conglomerates, your, your multinational companies who... Pay well, I think you taxes. make a very valid point with that. I mean, just looking, and I was quite staggered this morning by the by the range of the front pages, but also with, the, 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 if you like, the, the same core message, key message underneath, which is, if you're on benefits, if you're on some kind of support from the state, um, we're going to come after you. That That's how it comes across. Now, yeah, you and I, uh, we both can work it out. It's to appeal to a certain part of society and the electorate. There are people that go, yes, yeah, scrap. Let's go after them with a big mallet. You know, you look at the headlines, no benefit for your third child if you're on the doll. Teenage pregnant mums, you know, and then you've got this Tories uh, plan, new assault on welfare handouts, reducing the benefit cap from £26,000 a year to £20,000. Um, this is just political point scoring, but there will be people who it will affect, and it's always going to be the people on the peripheral, isn't it? The biggest benefit scroungers retire in two days for months long holidays. They take seventy thousand in wages. They can claim a hundred and thirty thousand to be paid to their wife, their spouses, their girlfriends, whoever, their family members, they can be put on the payroll of this gravy train of Westminster. In a time of austerity, there's surely there are people out there who can do that job at half the price, who can do it for the, the minimum wage, 24000 or the average wage that this country has been stagnant for years. Yet yeah, these politicians can give themselves, these are the biggest benefit scroungers. They and the fat cat, uh, multinational corporates, uh, banksters, and the people who are running the multinational companies, these people get to dictate to their puppets on a string, the politicians. These are the people who do nothing, who bring no value to the country, who do nothing apart from patronising and treating us like little kids. No, Duncan, the revolution is right for the masses here because we have had our rights stolen from repeated And you know what's interesting? We sometimes see the front pages and the headlines when you get this tax loopholes for tax bloody, avoidance bloody, to be closed, etc. Same pile of past, talking over me, fading me out, These less than four pages. minutes. Duncan Bart, shame on you. Radio LBC. Pash, pash, pash. Over and out. Roger.